Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we're gonna have a little bit of a tutorial about what I did to my Louis Vuitton um, purses to make it like a new um, purse or to give it a new look, a unique look. So I'm doing the round braided edges. So there's um, lots of uh, things, tutorials that you can see in YouTube about the round braided edges. but. Um, well, I'm going to make one for you today, so I will make it as easy and as simple as I can, so you can easily follow. But before um, anything else, before we do that tutorial, I'm going to invite you to subscribe on my channel to see more videos and see more tutorial about anything and everything about purses and about traveling. So, okay, let's start. So I have here in my hand the Louis Vuitton International um, tri-fold wallet so it's a vintage piece as you can see it's not very um, good condition anymore so the first thing we need to do is to clean our wallet and I ha it has some um, peeling in here which you can use some cleaning stuff to remove all the peelings on the wallet and yeah so for me um, I use a micro fiber cloth and I use this one so some there's I use so many cleaning stuff but this time I'm gonna use this um, leather quick um, detailer so it cleans restores and protects the leather and it also has vitamin E and aloe so it's it's dry when it's when you put when you spray it on the um, wallet it's it's it feels dry so it doesn't um, you don't need to wait for longer for it to dry so this is i think this is really good but you can still check out some of the cleaning products on youtube and on amazon there are lots of uh, cleaning products like saddle soap or you can even um use water to clean the um canvas okay so i'm gonna show you the materials that we need so first of all we're gonna need this um leather puncher or hole i don't know what this is called but yeah it's leather hole puncher that's what i call it and i also have these laces so i'm gonna choose between because it's springtime so i'm gonna choose between pink or purple but i think i'm gonna um use the pink so i can give it like a a nice and a colorful edges so i also have here beads that i can add later on to the wallet to make it more nicer and colorful so okay let's start so the first thing we need to do is to decide um distance of the holes from the edges and we need to decide also the distance from one hole to another hole. So since I'm using this lace and, and not too wide, so I'm going to make my hole um, a little bit smaller. I'm going to put a braid from this to this and around this one. So you, if you want to just put braids in here or you put, put all around the wallet but I'm not going to advise to put holes in it because we're going to compromise the space to put the um cards in here so I think the distance that I need to um put it's like um less than uh one centimeter or it depends on how you want the braid to be okay so I will be like uh, punching holes on this but the distance will be not too far from each other so so make sure that okay so this one so make sure that um you start here and you end also here 
So it's very important that they're going to be in line. So I'm not going to use a measuring tape for now because um, I'm just going to um, estimate the distance from other hole to another. So I'm just following the stitch line. And if you are not very comfortable about uh, about using my style, you can also put a line and put like a mark where you want to put the holes. So that way you can have a straight holes and you can have same distance. So I am done punching holes on these edges and as you can see um, they're almost on the same distance but since I did not measure it some of them are um, too close some of them where there's a, a difference of the distance from each holes but quite too close. Okay, that's why I recommend um, using a ruler or a tape measure to mark uh, where you want to put your holes. And this is the most awaited part <laughs> is how to start to make um, the braid, round braid. So if you want to know how long will you need, so you just need to measure your lace. And I usually um, do this length, so times five of its length. So that way, you are gonna make sure that from you're gonna have um, braid that is continuous from the beginning to the end. Just make sure that your lace is long enough to finish. Your braid so I'm gonna have uh, five times of the length of this and sometimes if I'm not really sure enough I have like six six times so it's okay to have a little bit of um, extra than to get short okay so this might be a really really long um, piece but it's okay so this is our lace it's kind of a long but it's fine start on the first hole and we put our lace on the first hole and we need to count four holes down from the first Okay, or three. We need to count three holes down from the first hole. Okay, one, two, three. So, this is where our second. So, we just need to put this one like this. Like this. So, we're going to wrap this at the back of the of this one of the edge and the other end of the lace we need to take it and count one two three four so on the fourth hole we okay, I need to cut this a little bit to make it pointy so it's easier for us to put it on the hole so on this fourth hole I'm just gonna insert this lace. It's, it's, it's kind of slippery. Okay. So sometimes your sometimes it's not very easy to put it because your holes might be a little bit smaller than the lace. So make sure that um, 
the lace will fit into the hole that you're making. So when it's twisted, we're just gonna twist it like this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's the fourth. So I'm I'm kind of using the plasticky thing here. That's why it's but if you're using the leather lace, it's a bit easier. But this one that I'm using is a like a plastic thing. But I like it I like the color. So after this, you get inserted into a fourth hole. So you're gonna wrap this one going to the back and insert into the second hole. The second hole. So we put it on the second hole. Oh, I make the holes too small, but it's okay. Like sometimes we need to use a needle, wide-eyed needle, to make it easier for us to insert the lace to the hole. So, uh, so sometimes they get twisted, but. It's okay, you can fix them so they look nicer when they get fixed. Uh, kind of a little bit hard, but when you get the this um, pattern done, it, it gets easier along the way. So, okay, so I have an excess here, this one. So I'm going to make sure that this, this one, this lace is under this one. To make like a nice braid okay so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around again like this but this time we go uh, on the fifth on the fifth hole so i'm gonna do it again wrap around here so i hope you're following guys because this is not um very difficult to make but it needs more patience and more time so if you have plenty of time you can uh, make this okay so see if you can see we are on um, creating a braid there and go ahead and go in front and this front okay oh i feel like i made a mistake in here Go in front and then go in front and wrap it around again. And this time, if you can see this, you need to always see if it's over and under. So we need to insert. We need to insert this lace to this to the second um thing here, so it will be under. And sometimes we need. Um, something to uh, lift it up so it's easier for us to insert the lace and I'm using my scissors here uh, small scissors is okay okay so like we're making our pattern here okay so it's twisted so we need to twist it a little bit so it go nice and flat okay so here over under so there's a hole in here that we need to go in the third hole. So this is the this is just the most difficult uh, part when you get started. But in time, as you go on, you're gonna follow um, the pattern really quickly because it's it's just very easy to know the pattern. So make sure that you are having a nice braid from under and also in this part. So okay. So this one, I'm gonna glue this so I can make a really really nice braid. Okay, okay. I have a glue in here that will help help us to make it stay in place. Just tiny tiny bit. Make sure that it won't go to the um canvas okay so this will make help us hold um the braid there and it's a super glue i put super glue in it please 
guys don't mind my nails because I've been working in purses and I can't keep them looking nice. Okay, this is the best I can do. So, with this one, so if you can see this one is over, so we need to go under to make a nice braid. Okay, so if you go under this one, it's gonna be really long, but it's okay. I need the help of my scissors in here. Okay, but you can have another um, thing that, you, that it will help you to lift this up. Just, I'm so lazy to get something for me for now. I'm just gonna use my scissors. Maybe later. Okay, so. So if you are um, having struggle about the twist, well, like me too, but that's normal. Okay, so. As you can see, we have over and under again. And wrap this. On the edge so so we're gonna have a pattern here so this one is over under and over so you don't need to put it under the lace and we're gonna put this in the next hole okay. uh -oh, my camera is walking <laughs> okay I hope you're enjoying please don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you like this tutorial and if you have any um, tutorial that you want me to make you can leave a comment below so this is it and we're gonna wrap it around here here okay so this one seems like it doesn't braid but we're gonna have it later as you go through the pattern you will go through all the holes there so over and need to, this one is over so we need to go under and I need my little scissors again to help me insert this thing. But I might suggest that you need to get a wide eye needle to make it easier for you to braid or to insert the lace from another lace. So yeah. Okay. So as you can see, we have a nice braid in here already. And we're going to insert this lace again into this hole. It seems complicated, but once you get through the pattern, it will make it easier and easier and easier until you are like you don't know that you're doing it really good. Okay. So since this one, we need to braid this also. So this is over. I need to put it under. So I hope you can see it. And I'm trying my best to make it step by step. So. you can follow okay so with this one I got it twisted again I need to twist it so okay so this is how it looks like the braided round braided edge and then you need to wrap it around again through the hole and insert the lace on the next hole so you're gonna do it over and over again until you're done until you're finished to the edge that's so easy, and I know you. If I can do it, I know you can do it too. And so we're having a very nice braid in here. And this one, we're gonna wrap around again and put it on this insert on this um, another lace here because it's as I've said over and under. So make sure that you alternate the lace that it goes over. And under or under the lace so it will make a really really nice braid so that's so easy okay and the struggle of a twisted lace again here oh I got it right now okay so as you can see we're getting through a little bit of it but it seems that sometimes you think that it's really really difficult but when you get through all the pattern there it makes it easier and easier and easier and if you practice more you can um, learn and uh, have your own technique on how to do these braids so this is how it looks like 
So we need to go under that. So you just be mindful to the al alternate um, pattern of this to go over or under because that makes the braid looks really really nice and it, if you miss one um, it will be you can see it really really easily if you miss one of the braids yeah. so can you put it again so this is just very very easy guys just follow the pattern and just follow how to start the braids okay so this is a tricky part so if you want your outside to look like this you just need to reverse this one so you wrap your the very beginning you need to wrap it in here not outward so if you want this inside you need to go over this one on this part but if you want this outside you can just start where I started so okay okay so I might go and um, look at this is how it it looks like okay, I might go and finish this one and I'm gonna show you how to end it and I'm gonna show you how to um, end your braids so you won't uh, fall apart okay so this is almost finished and I'm gonna end this so if you get into this um, this hole so I'm just gonna have to um, insert this one to the second to the last hole and from that I'm gonna put a, a glue on so it won't um, fall apart just a very very tiny bit just enough to um, hold this so and we'll cut this and I still need to insert this one here this one here and I'm gonna cut this one here okay. so this is your um, finished edges and let me remind you guys about this corner this is really really tricky on doing these corners but just follow the pattern and you'll be okay and whatever happens just follow it and yeah so this is the the look that i want i'm still gonna add um braid here on this corner to finish the look and i still don't know if i will um put a d-ring to make it a crossbody or just do it like this and yeah i still have um some beads to put in this one to finish the look and give it more um spring vibe look okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something today and please don't forget to subscribe and like and also share this video if any one of your friends wants to learn how to braid purses like this thank you for watching till next time bye